In this, my year of reading more science fiction, I saw it was finally time for the Three Body Problem trilogy, which has been making such waves for the last 15 years. I hear about it all the time. And dear reader, it's for a good reason. It is absolutely magnificently well written, but it is very dark. It is much darker than I expected. But I just found a really happy, beautiful part of it, and so I wanted to share that part of it because it's not a spoiler and it's some fantastic writing. Because what's amazing about this isn't that the the science side of the science fiction is really well done. And it's also not that the author is such a craftsman because he – it's a very long span of history, and he pulls different types of documents, and the way he chooses to tell the story in these snippets is just wonderfully structured. It makes sense that he was an engineer before he started putting books together. You can see that kind of attention to the craftsmanship of putting a book together. But what really makes it a stellar piece is what it says about humans, especially the dark side of humans. Most science fiction is interesting to read because of what it says about where we're going with technology. This was amazing because of what he had to say about human, how humans would respond in hard situations. And it was, it was not pretty. It definitely cost me some sleepless nights because I'd be devouring this book but then laying awake thinking about the dark implications for how humans are. And so – in the first book, figuring out the three-body problem was such a cool experience. And then the second book, The Dark Forest, figuring out what that meant was fascinating. And then now I'm about halfway through the last one, and I don't think this is a spoiler, so uh, – and I don't want to hear any spoilers because I'm only – I still have this half book to go. But the humans get to enter four-dimensional space, and – as someone whose day job is psychedelics and drugs and who is also fascinated by interdimensionality possibly explaining a lot of what's going on with the supernormal, I've never seen such beautiful, inspiring writing about what it would be like if our brains could get to the fourth dimension. Um, it, it takes the best of drug writing and psychedelic writing I've ever seen and applies it to a realm of science in a really amazing way. And so it was very heartening to read about. And as dark as the rest of the book can be, hearing that part was very inspirational. So I would say if you want to tackle something that is just a, a magnum opus, the three-body problem.